Hi friends, welcome to Finlens. We hope you are doing great. This video is the continuation of part 1 video on private equity structure. And here we will understand some different types of PE structure. Our previous video covered the basic fund structure and typical fund structure. The relationship between GP and LP, single manager and multi-manager funds. If you have not watched yet, please watch the part 1 video before starting on this. Link in the description below. So let's begin. One of the very basic structure is domestic fund structure. In this structure, limited partners are domiciled in US only. A domestic investment fund structure is typically comprised of the following entities. Limited partners, general partners and fund managers, underlying investments. Another one is plain vanilla structure. It is the simplest form of the PE structure. To understand more clearly, we are taking an example of Delaware LLC, which is the partnership firm that creates a private equity fund that is Delaware LP, which is regulated by the general partners. And the pool is created by the limited partners, where Delaware LLC also acts as an advisory that provides services to the fund about investment deals. This is how a plain vanilla structure looks like. Now let's discuss some complex private equity structures. One of the common complex structures is master feeder structure. A typical master feeder structure includes one master fund with US feeder and one non-US feeder. The benefit of this structure that it does not restrict the investee fund to just one type of investor. Feeder funds that invest in the same master fund can differ from one another in their investor types, investment minimums, fee structures, net asset values and other operational features. In other words, a feeder fund is not tied to a particular master fund but rather functions at its own legal entity, a partnership in its own right that can invest in any number of master funds. The advantages of a master feeder structure includes a master feeder fund reduces trading costs because it has no need to split tax lot. A master feeder structure eases the administrative burden of maintaining multiple portfolios. The master fund general partner's performance fee will be able to maintain the underlying tax attributes from onshore feeders. The fund's combined assets can be used to obtain greater financing benefits. Disadvantages of a master feeder structure include an offshore fund is generally subject to 30% withholding tax on US dividends. The different investment strategies available to a master feeder do not offer advantages to all investors at all times. Uneven allocations of profit and loss and tax accounting. Another one is parallel structure. In this structure, two private equity funds are organized to acquire the same investments as the other prorata based on their capital commitment. The two funds appoint the same entity as the investment advisor. There may be some limitations with investments each fund would be required to purchase. For instance, a side-by-side -side structure has a US fund and offshore fund that parallel each other in trading and have the same investment manager but maintain separate investment portfolios. There could be some more complex structures like co-investment fund structure. A co-investment fund structure allows limited partners to invest in private equity transactions on a side-by-side -side basis with the private equity fund. The limited partners would invest in the transactions through a separate vehicle known as a co-investment vehicle. Managers will market a co-investment as if they determine an investment opportunity that requires additional capital that exceeds what a particular private equity fund can invest in. I hope you understand these structures pretty well now. These were some private equity structures. If you observe PE structure adds up a lot of customization to their structure and generate a lucrative deal for each PE investor and creates a win-win situation for both general partner and limited partners. 
Thanks for watching guys. Let us know in the comments which topic you want us to cover in our next video. Also, please subscribe to our channel for more related videos. We will catch you in our next video. Till then, stay healthy, stay connected.